instead. Ooh, oh, good. Oh, hello, Sherlockins. Hello, everyone. I'm Annie, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cape. It's inspired by Sherlock. And BBC Series 3 just blew me away and my heart nearly collapsed at the very end of it because oh my god how can he be back? How? There's so many theories going on and if you're not a fan of Sherlock then you might still want to make a cape uh, for fun because it's really nice to wear. And I've developed this idea from Tracy at Cleverly Inspired. Anyway I'm gonna stop fangirling for now and without further ado let's get started! These are the materials you will need. I couldn't decide on which fabric I want because they both look so nice so I made this into a reversible cape instead. The material you will need has to be quite soft but thick so that it drapes properly. Now follow this pattern. It's quite similar to the circle skirt tutorial pattern but you won't be doing any calculations this time. The 2.5 inches is fixed but you can change the 21 inches to the length you desire. Draw the pattern onto some pattern papers or newspapers. So mark at 2.5 inches and then add 21 inches to make 23.5 inches and make another mark there. And then repeat the same marking on the edge right next to it. On the measuring tape, use a pin to make a hole at 3.5 inches and make another hole at 23.5 inches. Put a pen into the hole, place the end of the tape at the top corner and connect both 2.5 marks to create a curve. And do the same thing to connect the 23.5 marks So now you should have a pattern like this. Cut along the curved lines Fold your fabric in half and in half again, so you should end up with a corner with no raw edges. Place that on the top left and lay the pattern on top like this. Pin the pattern onto the fabric and cut. When you unfold it, it should be a full circle with a hole in the middle. Repeat those steps with the other fabric. Now lay both pieces of fabric together and smooth out any bumps. Cut a straight line down to the centre. And you're going to pin and sew all the way around with a straight stitch. But before that, remember to leave a 4 inch gap somewhere. After you've sewn it, cut small clips along the curve. This will make it neater after turning it right side out, but be careful not to cut the seams. Once you've turned it right side out, use the hand stitch to close the gap. For the bow, you need a long strip of 30 inches by 1 inch. Fold it in half and sew down the long edge with a straight stitch. Turn it right side out with a safety pin and you should end up with a tube. Now tie it into a bow, insert the safety pin and you can attach it onto your cape. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below telling me something to do with Sherlock that you found funny or something. Shezza would like it. Yeah, Shezza. I'm going to be back soon with some Sherlock DIY which I have the more tucked in here, the Mime Palace. 
Yeah, I'm gonna stop being such a fine girl now. Bye! <laughs>